Hey guys, uh, this is Vic, uh, Deathly Silent, or Vam, or Victoria, whatever you want to call me. Um, right, uh, this is a piece that I just started yesterday. And what I plan on doing is just working on pieces here. And uh, I guess just talking to get talking to you guys, and if you guys have anything you want to say, you can you know write it in the comments or whatever. I have uh, a lot of work in progresses, which is uh, why I kind of want to create this YouTube channel. <coughs> There's just you know kind of like motivation for finishing things I like to start things but I guess I get kinda stressed out this is just a piece that I had an idea for it was a uh, I guess inspired by Candyland but <clears throat> The character I thought this was of doesn't exist, so I don't know where she came from, but I don't know. Maybe it was from Adventure Time, but she is going to be based on candy stuff. <clears throat> I will be making these videos in between, like, I guess 20 and 30 minutes and it might go slow for you guys but you know hopefully people enjoy it or learn something from it that's mainly what this is for is for me to learn and then you know anyone else I'm not a professional yet hopefully but um I think there's always something that people can learn from each other whether how much experience a person has there's, all, there's always something someone can learn from. So yeah. <clears throat> so I will probably be doing different episodes uh, of different pieces and going back and forth to them. So hopefully I actually, you know finish my stuff which would be great I don't know if anybody else has this problem of starting and not finishing or getting getting really frustrated and if you guys have any you know tips or anything please you know leave a comment it seems like my computer is lagging a little but you know this is my first video so I'll figure it out. Figure it out. And yeah. There's a lot of tools, I don't know, a lot of things. I don't know if I have a style. I mean everybody has a little bit of a style. I haven't like a I don't really have like a chosen standard style for things. Um but I guess there are things I tend to do a lot the same of, like, probably what I'd see now is she doesn't have any eyebrows yet. <laughs> I've always tended to do that. And when I do eyebrows, I tend to be very generous as well, at least for my cartooning. And that's another thing. I do, I do cartoons and I do realistic drawings and I tend to do a little crossover between the two. Cause that's what I like. Like I like fantasy drawings. You're gonna see a lot of fantasy from me. Uh, things I've made up, other fan art, stuff like that. And you know, I'm sure there's people who don't want to listen to me talk. So you can totally, you know, I I don't I have no qualms about you, just quickening up the speed and or muting me. And what I'll probably do is, if I when I finish a piece, I'll probably uh, compile 
them all together and make a, a time lapse video without my voice or with some music. That way you can see it happen quickly instead of this snail pace that people might get tired of. Because I get tired of it. But it's also it's also fun to look at, like like to see what people were thinking while they were making you know, creating really awesome things at the same time. It's great. It is great. Uh for let me see, my education. I'm trying to think of things what people might be interested in. Maybe you're not. Um I am 21 and I have had classes, art classes from all of high school and I went to a community college and I went for a video game development because I thought it would uh, for all the options they had. I thought it would be a really good choice to get into animation. It didn't work out very well because there were problems with my... it was a new program and the classes weren't becoming available and there was... it just... like transportation, my courses weren't there and so I was trying to stay full-time so I was taking courses I didn't need but one of the courses I didn't need was an art class, which was sad because uh, the whole reason was basically art. I wanted animation, but I wanted the artistic part of it. I wanted creation. Um, and um, so I took an art class in college as well. It was just a drawing class, and it was a great class because we got we were able to. It was, the teacher was very, you know, relaxed about it. Free. We had assignments, um, and. There wasn't too much instruction. We did the basic things in the beginning, and I've done a lot of the basic things from uh, from high school. Oh, I also had a lot of um, summer school or Saturday class art uh, art classes at like colleges and uh, during high school, which were really fun. So I I ended up doing a lot of the same things in art class. They always start you know gesture contour like weight, gradient, scale, and you know, it gets it gets tiring. It's really good to know. It really is. But when you do it like every every year, sometimes more than once a year for about like seven years, you know, you think you know the stuff. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there's there's things I could definitely benefit from it, but they're just, you know, overdid it. It was too much for me. Um, and I, I mean, I have no problem doing it at classes still, but... This is really laggy. Um, so... I'm gonna do this wrong. Oh, nope. Alright. Her nose is all messed up. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I can definitely tell that it's whacked. Um, no. Also, I'm not very good with the hotkeys. I mean, I've learned a few. Really, just I don't know. It doesn't bother me so much. It might bother other people who are familiar and just like, why are you being all difficult and slow about it? Just, you know, I think it would take me time to learn them. And it really doesn't bother me. I don't see the point. I mean, I might, I'll probably learn them eventually, especially if I'm going to continue these videos so people don't have to, you know, want to sh- I don't want to say shoot. Um, <laughs> I don't know. Get frustrated with me. It'd be good to learn. It'd definitely be good to learn. Help quicken stuff up. But it would definitely go slower for the first few. Or for several times of me strictly using it. And I 
am using Photoshop. If you couldn't tell. Probably can tell. <laughs> I think. Oh, back to my education. If I would, you know, stay on topic of things. She's very late. Uh, so, yes. So I had two years of community college. I did not finish my degree as I had hoped because I got tired of the fact that they didn't have my courses when they said they would and were supposed to. Which sounds like an excuse, and it is an excuse. It's, I mean, I thought it was a good excuse. But if you don't think it is, I don't care. Probably right. Um, but I didn't bother going uh, the next year. I planned on uh, holding back a semester, because they were supposed to have, like, if they, the thing was, if they didn't have the class that semester, they'd have it the next semester, and they didn't. So I just, blah. I did win an award, not trying to sound snooty, for uh, for the class, for my major, because I guess I did really well. It didn't go that easily to me. It was a lot of programming, which was fun, but it was very stressful. It definitely was not did not come easy for me. And I guess I got it because I had good grades, but really, I knew I couldn't. It wasn't fun. It was, I mean, it was fun at the end when I accomplished it, but the process just didn't appeal to me. It was to, it was all programming. It's fun to make programs, but it just, it was a whole other language that my whole mind was, like, rejecting. So I stopped a year after that. I believe it, yeah, it was just a year, and I... Uh, I lived in Pennsylvania and I currently live in Ireland and I'm recently married and this fall I will be starting college here for the major of illustration which I am super duper excited about. So that might be another thing you guys will see is maybe some class assignments because there are supposed to be some digital work. I like that because I don't know. When I was in high school I didn't know. I knew what I wanted to do, but I didn't know what I wanted to do at the same time. Like, I didn't know the right words for it. Which is probably why I had such a hard time. Like, even like when I was applying to colleges, I wanted to go for animation. Originally, I, uh, in ninth grade I was when I decided I, I wanted to do art seriously. And oh, some people wanted to do graphic design, and I found out that was more advertising type thing, which wasn't exactly what I, to do, what I wanted to do. I thought I meant like, see I probably still don't know the proper words for it. I thought I meant like illustration, like drawings and stuff like on DeviantArt. Although there's a great variety on DeviantArt and I will show you, I will link you guys to my DeviantArt page. There is a variety of quality and types of things because there was a challenge I was doing and so I, was, I had to be very quick about it and so the quality, some of the quality isn't great but there are a lot of, there are a few things that I really like and there are things that people, other people really like more than me so it's just a preference thing you can check it out I'll be updating, I mean I'll be, I'll be adding the pieces that I finished there from here so since it's kinda laggy Maybe I can, I'll just tell you guys what I plan on doing, or a little bit of the story. So this chick right here, Candyland type chick, she's got a lace collar, gonna give her some type of vintage thing. I like hair, alright, so you're gonna see, probably gonna see some interesting hair stuff. If they don't, if they're not interesting hair stuff, maybe they're bald. I do focus on faces a lot. So I'm having difficulty right now with the lag. Um, I tend to not, I tend to lack on uh, backgrounds. That's a problem I tend to have. Is I, I really want to get better with backgrounds. Maybe I'll do a background piece if you guys have any suggestions. 
Uh, I'm also trying to do makeup on people more. But really, this is this is for me. Uh, this is for viewers as much as me, or me for as much as viewers. For people who are interested, maybe you just want to get inspired. Maybe you're just bored. But um, if you definitely have any any tips or suggestions, I will either try or think about them. There are things I might know that I just might choose not to do. But I appreciate, you know, comments anyway. Huh. I'm trying to think. Somebody tell you. I am also. I have. I don't know. Like I said, I had a lot of works in progress. This is true. This is very true. And. I have a lot of stories I have in mind since for like ninth grade was my big art boost as I said is when I decided and I had thought I created a lot of characters and I created I have storylines um there's a webcomic I'm working on very slowly though I have uh, the prologue figured out and I have the the prologue cover and the uh, first chapter cover figured out and I kind of have a bit of an idea of where I want to go with it but it's probably going to take a while so maybe I'll show you some stuff with this I'm going to go right now <laughs> uh, but thank you for watching bye